Hello you wonderful people and welcome to Simply Hike. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jack Wolfskin Big White Jacket. Hmm. I wonder where they got the name from that. That's very inspiring. Anyway, this is a great ski and snowboard jacket. Um, it's, again, nice traditional design, really. Uh, we're going to go through all the pockets and everything in a minute. Well, you notice, obviously, we've got a bit of tissue and stuff on there. It's because I've literally just taken it from the display and put it onto the hook. So we're going to find this, you know, this is going to be adventure for both of us. But what I do need to mention is, obviously, this has a water-resistant coating to it. So the light rain or you know the light snow is just going to roll off you need to maintain that now and again maybe wash it once a year at the end of the season with a knit wax grangers or any other waterproofing brand that you use but also it features the rico system so that means you are searchable so inside there there's a little gps tracker um so if you get stuck in an avalanche or you know you just get lost off piste or anything like that they can activate it and they can find your location, which is amazing. Anyway, let's take a look at the overall features. So first off, you've got a nice high neck on there. It's going to, you know, protect your neck from the wind chill. Um, and also it does mean, it means, you know, just kind of if, if you know, the weather turns to, turns to the worst, it gets a bit snowy, gets a bit blizzardy, you can literally zip yourself in and keep it nice and keep yourself nice and warm, nice and snug in, you know, the horrible weather. Um, nice zip on there. You got a flap behind the back there. I can never remember the actual name of it because I've not done these product videos for a very long time, but it will come back to me. But what that means is it just stops the wind chill from interfering with your core body temperature or interfering with your, you know, hopefully your layering system, which you should be wearing when skiing or snowboarding. Um, but again, yep, so that, that's not a fleece material. That's actually like a windstock material, which is really, really cool. Open that up, and then on the inside, it's pretty much a standard affair. As you can see, it's quilted as well, so it's not just a generic uh like lining on the inside it's structured and it's designed to keep your core body warm as possible but also as well breathable at the same time because you're going to be doing a lot of movement or if you're like me you're going to be falling over a lot of times so that's quite cool um other than that it's a pretty standard you've got a big pocket on the inside there that's going to be for your you know when you're up the top of the mountain or you're sitting on the sidelines you want to put your your goggles or your you know, your gloves or whatever in there that's nice and big nice and elasticated and then you also have a secure pocket on there as well so that's great for your keys your ski pass or any bits and bobs that you just don't want to accidentally fall out pop it in there zip it up and then it stays nice and protected so that's the inside and the top part of the zip again you've got a chest pocket on there as you can see it's semi waterproof so it's not fully waterproof and that's purely for the fact that you've got a hole where the zip is but that doesn't mean not you know if it's torrential or anything eventually a bit of water or a bit of snow will get into it but it's going to take a very long time to get in there that's a nice wide pocket there's literally that entire section there is a wide pocket again it's going to be great for your keys if you've got an mp3 player you can sneak that in there i mean to be fair you're probably better off putting it on the inside so then you don't have a cable coming out or you shouldn't be listening to music while skiing that's a bit of a no-no in, in today's world but basically you got a pocket it's secure, you can stuff stuff in there, shove stuff in there that you know you don't want falling out. And then you've got your two traditional pockets. Now they actually are very traditional because they're actually, they're not on the sides there, they're literally top entry pockets. So you can literally pop your hands in there, even with your gloves, because it's a nice wide entry. Pop your hand in there, grab something out, use it, pop it back in. And again, they've got a zip, so they're secure as well. So whatever you pop in there as well, stay safe and secure. And even though that is semi waterproof, should I say, You've got a bit of Velcro on there, so that actually flushes the pocket as well. And then lastly, you've got a small pocket on here. Mm, I wonder what that's for. It's for your ski pass. So rather than having it, again, you don't have to have it in that pocket, that pocket. Simply pop your ski pass in there. When it comes to getting to the gates, swipe your arm. Hey presto. Or if you're you know, low key, there's no ski pass and you want to keep yourself lightweight, if you've got a key to, to your room or whatever, you can pop it in there, zip it in there, and at least you know that that is safe and secure. The cuffs themselves, obviously you've got the snow skirt on the inside, prevents any snow from going up your arm there. And then you've got the Velcro system on there. So once your arm's in there, do that up and then that's just going to secure anything on the uh, on you know from snow from going up your arm and again on the inside very traditional you'll have one in there so let's take a look at the hood so what you'll notice again in the neck system you've got a pulley in there if the weather gets a bit rougher you could literally pull that in and then that can make it nice and snug giving you the protection and the warmth that you need and then the hood itself is a nice traditional hood it does have some padding to it so again it's going to keep you nice and warm but what i love about hoods and especially this one 
is the peak. So it's semi-rigid, so you've got nice flexibility, but once it's actually up, it's gonna stay in that similar design, which means it's gonna help with your overall vision. Because I don't know about you, but it's really annoying when there's a hood and it just goes over your face and then you can't see anything. Because this is semi-rigid and peaked, it just means that it's gonna open up your peripheral so you can actually move around. You can see what's behind, well, not behind you, but to the side, to the side. And then, yeah, it, it basically, it's just gonna improve your vision. And then on the back there, as you can see, it's just the, the, the white design. You've got the Jack Wolf skin logo there, and then it just, you know, gives, gives the general design, that the general features. So yeah, as I say, it's a really nice jacket actually from Jack Wolf skin. You've got the Rico system, so searchable, it's gonna be great for your safety. It's nice and generous in size. Oh, one thing in, well, two things actually forgot to mention. You've got the traditional pit vents that you get in pretty much 99% of the ski jackets. And also you have the ski skirt stuck on the inside as well, which works just like the uh, the sleeves, stops any you know snow from going up your back there. But yeah, which 99.9% .9 most of ski jackets have. But yeah, the Jack Wolfskin one is there with that Rico system with the, the waterproofing on it. And uh, yeah, just generally the general tech and the, the actual overall design is a really nice jacket. So yeah, definitely worth checking out if you're looking at a new jacket. Anyway, thanks for watching and happy trails. It's really, really simple. I'm just trying to keep my feet flat on the rock. And as the rock gets steeper, I'll be using the ball of my foot, but in the dry, uneasy angled rock, I can use the whole of my foot, and I'm just trying to keep as much rubber in contact